Special guest DIY Semi Adam comes by to say hi. Also uh, an ass wagon pulling a maneuver in front of me. And I uh, got some deer bouncing around in Wyoming and more on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and furry studio audience. Yep, that's Rusty, the world famous and apparently tired meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. Alright, today is Sunday the 12th of November. You realize Thanksgiving's like, how soon? It's real soon. It's uh, just a little over a week away. Boing. Anyway, uh, so got a chance to meet DIY Semi. A lot of you may know his channel from YouTube. Uh, has a lot of great videos on uh, fixing things. That's how I stumbled across his channel is uh it was back in oh march or something like that april and i just started working with elliot i'm down in phoenix uh, near phoenix that is uh delivering at a walmart distribution center my engine fan had been stuck on high uh for like a day and a half it would not go down and so i thought great it's probably the clutch on the engine uh fan uh itself which is really expensive and i was just googling stuff trying to figure out maybe what it could be and i stumbled across his channel and uh, he had this great video all about how it's probably it could just be this little solenoid that's up near the firewall and so i watched his video he showed how to diagnose it i figured out hey it isn't the uh, clutch because uh, if that fails it's going to be seized up and frozen and so i uh, called ahead to uh, the freightliner in tucson arizona got the part for all of like you know what 60 bucks something like that maybe 100 i don't know not much some fittings and i uh, made it up to another ta and i think wilcox arizona and I was able to fix it there in the parking lot in like 10 minutes. All thanks to DIY Semi. So, I've been following his channel ever since. He's a great guy. And uh, he had said, uh, he did a little live thing Friday night. Say, and he mentioned uh, my channel and mentioned that I was in, uh, you know, not too far from him. And all that uh, in Wisconsin. And so, uh, I uh, emailed him and said, hey, I'm going to be back in um, Plover at the Quick Trip. If uh, it's not too far and you want to come by and say hi and all that. So, he came by and said hi. All right, here we are. This is, of course, you know him as DIY Semi. Hey Dun -dun -dun. guys, we just decided to meet up here at the Quick Trip. We're gonna go have some cheese curds, maybe some <laughs> taters, and uh, you know, maybe go do some fishing afterwards. Don't you know? Oh yeah. Maybe maybe go to the Fleet Farm and check it out. <laughs> oh yeah, real real good time then. Yeah. Yeah, up here in Wisconsin, don't you know? <laughs> yep. And of course, he came to meet me here. And of course, here's proof. Here's. Rusty up there barking I, his head off. I came to meet uh, Rusty and just happened to run into the clutch trucker with him. So. <laughs> Rusty's, oh. Rusty's the real celebrity here. Of course. I swear there's a tons of people down in Florida who tune in just for the dog. So there he is up there losing his mind. All right, Adam, thanks so much for coming out. Hey, thanks for, thanks for uh, taking some time to hang out for a minute. Super, super nice guy. Really nice uh, to meet him. We went over to this uh, supper club thing and I uh, just had a couple app apps, had some apps. That's what we used to call appetizers, right? It, now an app is on your phone. Can't eat those. Well, I don't know. Maybe you could. Anyway, I uh, had a great conversation. Real super nice guy. And, uh, of course, yeah, those of you uh, owner-operators, uh, so forth, if you don't have a good fuel card, by the way, he's got his new uh, DIY semi-fuel card. We now have that with L on Wheels. Um, and right now it's mostly AMVEST um, and Speedways. But a lot of times, uh, their discounts are beating our other card that we have, um, especially at the Ambest. So if you tend to fill up at those more often, do check out his card. Uh, you can go to DIYSemi.com and find out information about that. And uh, so he's, he's, he's an owner-operator. He's uh, got a small fleet. He's trying to pass on the savings to us little guys so we can make a living. So go check that out. All right, so I got an ass wagon to show you. This was in, I was on my way home earlier in the week uh, with that load of cereal uh, going to the Cheyenne Distribution Center, the Walmart Distribution Center. I had stopped in Ogallala over at the Casey's and I'm trying to come back out. I've got a green light. Now I've needed to swing into the left uh, turn lane uh, so I can make the right turn, but I've got my right turn signal on and there's a truck coming the opposite way. So I let him go first because I, was, I needed to let the two cars in front of me get out of the way, then I can make my right turn. Well, then there's this little uh, silver uh, Chevy SUV that decides they're just going to keep following the truck without even looking, and I'm trying to make my right turn, and they just are coming right along when I have the right of way. It's a green light. I am turning right. They're turning left across traffic. They should have stopped for me, and they didn't. Green light. 
there used to be a time for that before match.com. Fucking people. People used to fish for dick out of the back of the paper. We got my stepdad out of the paper. Like a huge <laughs> Yes. I had the right away. All right, then I, you know, you saw in the video, I get up next to him and I blow my air horn, and then they're blowing their honking their horn back at me, like it's my fault. No. I, do you not know the basics of driving? Green light. If you're going straight or turning right, you have the right away over somebody coming the opposite direction, turning left in front of you. Ass wagons. And after I got loaded again on Friday morning in uh, Glen Rock, Wyoming, with the Lignite that goes to uh, Rothschild, Wisconsin, that's what I'm going to be delivering tomorrow morning, uh, I had to pull off and park right after it gets back to a paved road. I had to call the, my insurance for the truck, blah, blah, blah. I had this whole issue. So I knew I needed to take care of that while I knew I still had phone service. Because I get further down the road and I'm over heading towards Lusk, Wyoming, the phone service like tends to not be existent at all. Uh, so I'm taking care of that. And all of a sudden I see four deer come uh, up near the road, they go across, they come down, and they all hop the fence over in front of me. to see some wildlife like that when they're not bouncing off the front of your vehicle what do you think all right so we deliver the uh, lignite tomorrow morning i've got to run straight over there uh, from there to uh, northfield minnesota to pick up the cereal again at post uh, it's a three and a half hour drive from rothschild over to northfield and uh, this is going to be a tight one because uh, I, I pick up as soon as i get there uh, i think we have it set for 1 p.m and i should make it just by about that i'm going to stop in hudson and fill up uh, then uh, it delivers the same time, uh, just like last week, Tuesday afternoon. This one delivered, last one delivered on a Thursday. This one's delivering Tuesday afternoon at uh, 4.10 p.m. So it's going to be a real tight run. Uh, and then I pick up the Lignite again on Wednesday the 15th. And uh, that brings me back to Wisconsin for a Friday delivery. So that one's a little tighter too because now I only have the two days as opposed to a whole weekend to do that one. And at that point then I'm out of runs. I don't know what's happening after that. So I'm hoping to hear uh, maybe tomorrow if I have some more lignite. And then of course we've got Thanksgiving coming up, which I always say, as a truck driver, holidays really hack me off because they interrupt me making money. And you know, because everybody has to take the day off. Yes, and I always try to be home for Thanksgiving. So I'm hoping I can make things work to where I can be there uh, for Thanksgiving Day and then maybe pick up a load the next day. But then so many people take that Friday off. <coughs> Hard to say. So that might be a lean week. All right, so there's the plan. Uh, just a quick little update. Uh, we'll see Rusty getting his begging strips here at the end. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Yeah, just a quick one, uh, but a great time with uh, Adam from DIY Semi. So that was really cool. And of course, uh, Rusty even basically behaved himself. Yes. <laughs> I know those begging strips are coming. Just wait. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please like and comment. Get to your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver. Clutch Trucker, uh, Trucker on Instagram. Clutch Trucker on Twitter. Uh, now X. Uh, Clutch Trucker 5 on TikTok. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty. Out. Turn to the right. What's wrong, Ed? My fans left me. So, are you, are you waiting for your begging strips? <laughs> Is that it? Is that the happy dog dance? Happy dog dance? All right, there you go. Oh, such a happy dog. His day is complete now that he's had the begging strips. It almost sounded like a movie trailer or something, didn't it? He waits all day. And then finally, at the end, the begging strips come. Completing the day for this dog known purely as the meatball. Yes, coming this fall, Rusty in Treats for Me. <laughs> Making quick work of him tonight there, Rusty, aren't you? Oh, yes. 
Yum, yum, yum.